गाइस वेलकम बैक टू टेक डोज एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लुक एट मैक्सिमम एवरेज पास रेशियो प्रॉब्लम व्हिच इज फ्रॉम लीड कोड नंबर 1792 एंड इट इज बेस्ड ऑन ग्रीडी एल्गोरिथम अ वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम टू सॉल्व आफ्टर दिस इज लीड कोड नंबर 1029 व्हिच इज टू सिटी शेड्यूलिंग दीस टू प्रॉब्लम्स आर वेरी वेरी सिमिलर लेट्स नाउ लुक एट द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इन दिस प्रॉब्लम देयर इज अ स्कूल दैट हैज क्लासेस ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स एंड ईच क्लास विल बी हैविंग अ फाइनल एग्जाम यू आर गिवन अ 2डी इंटीजर एरे क्लासेस वेयर क्लासेस दैट आई विल बी पास आई कॉमा टोटल आई you know beforehand that in the ith class there are total i total number of students but only pass i number of students will pass in the exam you are also given an integer extra students there are another extra students brilliant students that are guaranteed to pass the exam of any class they are assigned to you want to assign each of the extra students students uh, to a class in a way that maximizes the average pass ratio across all the classes the pass ratio of a class is equal to the number of students of the class that will pass the exam divided by the total number of students of the class the average pass ratio is the sum of the pass ratios of all the classes divided by the number of the classes return the maximum possible average pass ratio after assigning the extra students students answer within 10 to the power of minus 5 of the actual answer will be accepted so we need precision of 5 digit after the decimal so in this case we are given 10 to the power 5 maximum number of classes and the extra students can also go to 10 to the power of 5 so i cannot write n into n that means n square algorithm that is not going to pass i'll take n as the number of classes as well as the number of uh, students as well okay now let's look at the example for better understanding in this case we are given the uh, classes let's say there are three classes 0 to 2 and each of them is representing a pair so what is the meaning of this 1 comma 2 this means that if you have one then one number of student will pass out of a total of two students okay so that is why we will write 1 comma 2 which is pass i comma total i now let's say we have extra students which is 2 and our goal is uh, since extra students always pass because they are brilliant therefore assign them to the classes in such a way that their average pass ratio is maximized and the definition of average pass ratio is after assigning all the extra students to whatever classes we wanted to you find each of the average for every n number of classes and you divide by n which is the total number of classes and then you will get the average pass ratio and this pass ratio must have precision of five digit after decimal so for this particular example if you look at uh, the given three classes 0 1 then i can calculate uh, what is the pass ratio for each of them So the pass ratio of class zero is zero point five, zero point six for class one and one point zero for class two. Let's say that we add a uh, one extra student to class zero, and if you do that, then you know that uh, the number of pass students will increase from one to two, and the total students will also increase to three because one student has been added, right? So it becomes two comma three. Now the pass ratio has changed to point four six seven, right? So you have double six, double six seven. and other numbers will not be changing again if you choose to add one extra student to let's say class 0 uh, then again the percentage will change because this 2 will become 3 and the total number of students will become 4 because you know that extra students always pass and the number of students will always increase if you add one student so now 3 by 4 will be 0.75 okay and the other percentages will not be changing the ratio will still be the same now if you calculate the pass ratio it will be uh, 0.75 plus 0.6 plus 1 by the total number of classes and so you get a 0.7833 so this will be your result for this particular example and this is optimal okay now if you want to find out the optimal answer that means the maximum possible average pass ratio then maybe you will not be able to say directly where you will be adding uh, the extra student right you might have to find where should i add so what you might do in the worst case is you will be trying each student for all of these classes so maybe you take first student and you will add it to class number 0 and then you don't add to class 0 but you add to class 1 then you don't add to class 1 and you add to class 2 right so each of the student can be tried will with, with with all of these classes isn't it so if each student has n number of choices okay and uh, let's say you have n students then the total number of choices will be n to the power of n which will be extremely high in the worst case right we know that uh, from the constraint n was less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 even extra students was less than equals to 10 to the power of 5 so we need to write an algorithm which is less than n square 
we should always maintain less than 10 to the power 8 computations right to run within one second so definitely this algorithm should not be used now let's look at an idea uh, for adding the extra student let's say that uh, you are thinking about adding the extra student to the uh, class which is having smallest average because that will give me maybe the highest increment then let's try that logic out let's take an example uh, where we have two classes the first class has two past student and three total student the second class has three past student and five total student so if you find the pass average of class 0 it will be point uh, double six double six seven and if you find the pass average of the class 1 then it will be point six double zero double zero now according to our logic I will be adding one extra student to let's say class 1 right so if you add one extra student to class 1 then you know that this number this 3 will change to 4 because the extra student added will definitely be passing and the total number of students will become 6 now the first number will not be changing it will still remain as 2 comma 3 so its average will also be same the pass ratio and uh, the second uh, class that means class 1 will change to 4 comma 6 and now its pass ratio becomes 0.66667 now after adding one student if you calculate the average pass ratio it will be the addition of these two values divided by the total number of classes so you will get 0.66667 but what if you had tried the other way around like what if uh, you had added one extra student to class 0 instead of class 1 if you had done that then the number of pass student for class 0 will increase to 3 and the total number of students will become 4 so in that case uh, the pass ratio will change to 0 0.75000 and for the second one it will not be changing it will be 0 0.6000 000, 000, right so after this if you calculate the average pass ratio then you will get the addition of the two values divided by the total number of classes and this will become 0 0.675 now if you compare this 0 0.675 with 0 0.66667 then the other option is better right 0 0.675 is higher so since this value is higher therefore I know that our strategy of adding extra student to the smallest average is not working and why it is not working because if you add one extra student to a class having smaller number of items then it will show higher fluctuation okay so smaller number of uh, students actually changes faster okay it, it will change the pass ratio much faster if you have 1 comma 2 as compared to something else like let's say 10 comma 12 adding plus 1 to any of them will be showing uh, that that the smaller number of uh, total students will be giving you a higher increment rather than the other type right so our greedy approach in this case is not working because average is not the only criteria but the size of the uh, class is also a criteria because if you add plus one to a larger size class then the fluctuation will be less as compared to a smaller size class and also there is another factor that if you are closer to the value 1 then uh, your changes will be slower and if you are farther away from a value 1 then uh, your changes will be faster that means if you have a lower pass ratio adding plus 1 will uh, give you a higher increment as compared to if your pass percentage were, was very very close to 100 percent okay so I don't want to go into those kind of complexities rather I will be deciding on which one is giving me a better increment right I will choose that so this same technique is used in the two city scheduling problem which is from lead code number 1029 hence I have given you that problem now in this case I will be calculating the possible increment for each class if we happen to add an extra student in future so let's say that we have uh, the two classes class 0 and class 1 so if you calculate the current average of this class 0 then it will be 0.66667 now if imagine that I have to add an extra student I have to add an ex ex extra student so if I happen to add it to class 0 then it the pass number of students will change to 3 and the total student will change to 4 if this would have been done then the new average would be 0 0.75 okay now what would be the possible increment if I add an extra student to this class 0 so the possible increment will be the new average minus the current average so this will be 0 0.08 triple three this will be the possible increment if I happen to uh, choose extra student to be added to class 0 I will calculate the same thing for class 1 as well and if I happen to add uh, an extra student to class 1 then the pass ratio will change to 4 uh, by 6 which will be 0 0.6667 and the initial average was already 0 0.6 and 4 times 0 
so the difference between them is 0 0.0667 now if you look at the possible improvement after adding uh, an extra student to either of the classes this class 0 is showing me a higher improvement it is showing me 0 0.0833 as compared to the other class so this value is larger therefore don't you think that currently if i add the extra student to class 0 then i will get an overall better average pass ratio isn't it so that should be my idea i will always greedily pick the best class where adding the next extra student will give me the highest possible increment so based on this logic let us see a dry run if you have a bunch of classes then what i'll do is i always want to pick the one with the best possible increment and if you want to pick the one with the maximum possible increment then i'll be taking a max heap so if you take a max heap then uh, you always have the maximum uh, valued node right on top and you can extract it in order of log n time so let's say we have three classes here uh, with the value 1 comma 2 3 comma 5 and 2 comma 2 so i have already pre-calculated all the current average values so the current average value will be 1 by 2 for class 0 uh, then 3 by 5 for class 1 and similarly 1 for class 2 now if i happen to add one extra student uh, to let's say class 0 then the value will change the past number of student will become 2 total number of student will become 3 so it will be 2 comma 3 so the value will be point double six double six seven similarly if you happen to add one extra student uh, to class 1 the value will change to 4 comma 6 and the value will be uh, point double six double six seven and if you ha happen to add one extra student to class 2 uh, then the value will change to 3 comma 3 which will still remain to be 1 so if you look at the possible increment that you get you have to subtract uh, the current average from the new average right so if you subtract then you will see the increment so for class 0 by adding an extra student you are getting an increment of 0 0.16667 and for class 1 you are getting an increment of 0 0.0667 and for class 2 you are not getting any increment 1 minus 1 is 0 so all these possible increments will have to be pushed into the max heap so i'll be pushing all these increments into the max heap but we cannot just push the increment because when i get the maximum increment i do not know which class it belongs to so i will be pushing the possible increment as well as the class index so this is uh, how i will be pushing all the values into the max heap right so all the class indices this 0 1 2 will be also pushed along with the values i mean the possible increment value okay now from this max heap you know the top of the heap will be uh, the one with the maximum possible increment and that is the one where i will add one extra student so let's say i had to add total of extra student equals to two i had to add two extra student okay so the first extra student will definitely go to this class number zero so what i do is i'll be removing this option out and then i will be adding one extra student so i'll be changing this array and updating this value from one to two and this two to three and similarly the current average value will change the current average value will no more be 0 0.5 but it will become 0 0.66667 and now you have to calculate the new average value because since 2 comma 3 is the current value now after adding one extra student therefore if i happen to add one more student to this 2 comma 3 then my value will change to 3 comma 4 so what will be the value here it will be 0 0.75 if you calculate so i will be updating the new average value to 0 0.75 and since i need five digit precision so i'll be writing triple zero at the end so what will be the possible increment you just subtract these values so this will be equals to 0 0.0833 okay so this will be the possible increment if the second extra student is added one extra student has been consumed and if the next extra student has to be added so this will be the possible increment so in the heap i will be pushing back this possible increment comma the index to which it belongs so i'll be pushing the value 0 0.0833 comma index number 0 now if you look at this heap then next time which value will be picked out again the next time the one with the maximum possible increment will be picked out so this time all also we will be picking out this class number 0 the extra student will now be placed in class number 0 and therefore uh, the changed up value from 2 comma 3 will become 3 comma 4 and therefore the current average will now become 0 0.75 triple 0 
I need not calculate any more new average and all. It will not be pushed because your uh, extra student count is zero now, right? So we will not be pushing anything. Now, according to your current average value for each of the classes, you just add up all these values. So it will be 0 0.75 plus 0 0.60 plus 1.00. And you just add, uh, I mean, divide it by the total number of classes. And so the total value will be 2.35 by 3. And this will be equals to 0 0.78 double 3 and, and another 3. So this should be your result after adding two extra student. So I hope you have understood the entire process. In this uh, entire process, you know that we have taken a max heap which is of the size of the number of classes. So this will be order of n size of the max heap. Therefore, space complexity will be order of n. And uh, the time complexity for picking out every item of the max heap will be order of log n. And this has to be repeated extra student number of times. An extra student can also be uh, going till n which is like 10 to the power of 5. So I'll be taking an uh, n value for it. So the time complexity will be n log n. Therefore, the time complexity is order of n log n and the space complexity is order of n. Let's now look at the code. If you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months, then we have brought for you both the DSA and the system design live interview training program. The most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one on one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number. In this problem I have written a utility function which is heap push where I'll be taking the max heap and the classes with the particular index and I'll be calculating the current average, the new average and the possible increment by subtracting the current average from the new average. And I will be pushing the pair of possible increment comma the index of the class into the max heap. So this will be reused again and again. So now if you look at the main function of uh, max average ratio, then here uh, I am given the classes and the extra students. So I'll be finding the number of classes defining a max heap which is based on the pair uh, double integer and I'll be pushing all the uh, values into the max heap based on the possible increment for each of the class and then uh, appending the class index to it which I have already shown here. After doing this for every extra student we will be taking out the top of the heap which is the best option because uh, whichever class is giving me the maximum possible increment I'll, I'll just be taking it out and then I'll be finding the index and incrementing its pass count as well as the total count okay and once i have done that i will be pushing it back into the heap and here we, we already know about the calculation that possible increment will be the new average minus current average and that has to be pushed along with the index once we are done adding all the extra students then i'll be calculating the final average uh, by taking uh, the average across all the classes after uh, doing the changes and then returning the result so this is the entire code and I hope you were able to understand it. If you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and I'll try to help you as soon as possible. Like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of this programming videos. See you guys in the next video. Thank you.